Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you my new updated everyday makeup routine. It is really easy and it's just a little bit of a blushier look, a little bit warmer, a little bit more pinky than my go-to summer look that's more bronzy. So we're gonna walk through all the products today. But before we start, this video is partially in partnership with Ana Luisa. If you guys don't remember, Ana Luisa is a jewelry brand that I've worked with for a couple of years now and they are a new New York based and they make really beautiful affordable yet high quality jewelry pieces and their designers have worked with some of the biggest fashion houses in the world like Gucci and LV so I've gotten some new earrings and some new necklaces that I'm gonna walk you through I do have a discount code for you all as well if you guys are interested in like checking it out yourselves I'll leave it down in the description box along with the links to the new pieces so I got two new pairs of earrings. They each come in like a full set, but I am wearing only one of these dangly earrings because I only have one second hole. So this guy is a really cute little charm hoop. I like the movement in it so that like it kind of adds some extra sparkle and dynamic in my ear stack. And then this little guy is a safety pin, which I think is so cute. It actually undoes like a safety pin. Like you just have to press on it and it comes out just like an actual safety pin, which I think is really cute. So these ones are a little bit daintier than the bigger hoops I've been wearing lately so I like this change up and I think I'm going to be wearing more of these because they are so comfy. So this is one of the newer pieces. It's a necklace with a kind of sun ray design but what is really cool about this one is it has a different flip side on it. So it's two necklaces in one and I think that this side is really really cool as well because it's so modern and sleek but I did flip it to the gold side because this locket kind of has a similar like dark vibe to it. So this one is actually a really dark blue, if you guys can see that. It has a tiny little stone in the middle. So I'm really loving this stack together because we have a heavier chain on top, but because these pendants are a little bit like bigger and heavier, it does draw your attention back down. So everything is really balanced and it just looks like put together. So now we're gonna move on to the makeup and let's get started with my lips because my lips have been so dry during the drier months. I'm going to start off with a lip oil from Burt's Bees. This thing is amazing. Like I'm a big fan of the Burt's Bees lip chat, but the lip oil is a whole different ball game. So I'm gonna put the lip oil on before everything else. So like by the time we're doing our lips or my lips, then my lips won't be as dry. Right now I basically wash my face. I have some cream on. I do want to show you the cream that I have been loving, which is the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense for 72 hours. It just goes on so nicely under the skin and it leaves my skin like really plump and soft and ready for like whatever I put on it. I'm gonna start off with the Even Better Concealer by Clinique. I am wearing the shade Buff. The thing I really like about this one is that it has a really interesting like wider tip and I usually just put it on kind of like the spots where I'm like redder. I'm getting like a little bit of redness like on my cheekbones, which I haven't really discovered what it was. And it actually comes a little like spongy so you don't need an extra tool for this. It's all in one. So you can just like pop it in your purse for touch-ups. Also my baby hairs have like become a, a bang. So I have didn't cut bangs. This is just what happened to my baby hairs all growing together at once. So now that my red spots are a little bit more covered, we can move on. So lately my eyes have been a lot better. So I've started doing a little bit of eye makeup again. So I'm going to be using this eyeliner, which is like an aubergine eyeliner from Clinique, just to give like a little bit of like an eye flick. Quick liner for eye intense, eyes intense. So just a little bit of like extension and a little bit into the eyelash line. So essentially it just follows a natural shape of my eye and extends a little bit into like a flick. And I like the aubergine because it's not as heavy as a black and it just is a little bit different than a brown. It kind of like, I think it plays into the browns of my eyes really nicely. The other end of the pencil does have a little smudger, but I like my eyeliner pretty clean, but essentially like you could smudge it and have like a more smoky eye. I feel like we can play with that like another time for today. This is like my everyday makeup so we're gonna stick with a clean liner 
Okay, so before I do my brows and mascara, I'm gonna do some bronzer. So this is their true bronzer. It's a pressed powder bronzer, and I'm using it in the shade two, number two, Sun Kiss. So I'm just gonna take like a regular powder brush. So you can see it's pretty matte, but it has some flecks of shimmer in it. Not a lot, which is what I look for. So I'm just gonna put this kind of all over my face for a little bit of more in like the classic shape help with contour but light contour obviously because you know I'm not the hugest fan of crazy contour okay now that the bronzer is done we're gonna do my eyebrows with this brow keeper also from Clinique I recently discovered like a whole bunch of makeup products from Clinique that I've been loving so that's why we're using them today I'm using this in a warm brown because like I said in previous videos that I like my brows to be warmer because if I choose like a super dark brown or black which is like the true color of my hair and my eyebrows it just looks makes me look really washed out like it makes my skin look really pale so I do like a light fill in with like a warmer brown and I feel like it makes me look more tanned so you can kind of see the warmer brown showing through and I think it plays off the bronzer that I have on really nicely I also really like the spoolie on the end of this. It's like a very dense, sharp one. So I feel like it gets the blending really nicely done. Blending done nicely. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to use the brow mousse. I haven't used a colored mousse on my brows in a long time. I've been sticking with clear ones, but I really wanted to try this guy from Clinique. So I've been using it. You just have to be careful. Like you just have to make sure that you get all the excess junk off of the little bristle so that you're not like randomly getting heavy spots on your brow. It does give it a little bit more volume than like a clear one. So usually start in the middle just in case there's like extra clumps on the brush, which there was a little bit here tiny tiny brush so you just have to make sure you're coating all the hairs and it allows you to be a little bit more precise so this is in a dark brown like a darker brown than the pencil so it brings back down the color just a little bit and it keeps the hairs brushed up okay so this has been a game changer for me the clinique waterproof mascara i've been like going through all the mascaras i've had sent to me and bought in the last like couple weeks now that my like eyes are better i've been using more eye makeup and this is the only one that hasn't been smudging on me so really really happy about it we do a close-up on my eyelashes right now they're like very little and thin a light layer to intensify my lashes nothing crazy so I got a huge kind of clump on my eye so I'm gonna use a q-tip smudge that out and then also a blank empty spoolie that I actually have for my eyebrows but it works for mascara too just to clean it up because i don't like clumpy mascara so just to make sure we got that clump out so usually in the summer i don't use blush or anything but for the winter i like to have like a little bit of rosiness to my cheek so this is the clinique cheek pop in melon pop it is such a pretty pink and it goes on just like a natural flush on my cheek so i just use a little brush like this add a little bit just on the apples of my cheeks a little bit on my nose it just makes everything a little bit warmer and like kind of brings attention more to the apples of the cheeks last but not least we're going to use a lipstick from clinique this color this color is called the eyelet it's a really pretty nude so now that the lip oil has had a chance to soak in it should really help with lipstick application it really tones down the pinkness of my lips just a little bit kind of like a really nice brownie pink and then because i like things glossy we're gonna try the lip gloss from clinique it's called the pop splash lip gloss and hydrating lip gloss just this really light bubbly pink And that's a wrap. This is the look that I gravitate towards almost every day, especially when I'm filming or when I have to take photos for my campaigns and stuff. So this is just like a really simple glowy, but like flushed 
makeup look. I've evolved from just like my super bronzy look, something a little bit more blushy, which I'm really enjoying. And I'm super happy that my eyes are happy again, that I can play with a little bit of eye makeup. And if you guys want to check out the Ana Luisa jewelry I talked about, I will be leaving the links down below along with the discount code. If you guys have any questions or any like makeup, beauty look requests i tend to keep things pretty simple so nothing crazy guys but if you have like a type of makeup look you want me to subdue down for you i'm totally down for that so leave them in the comments down below like the video if you liked it subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i will see you very soon